Cause I'm up right now. Cause I'm stuck right now. Josiah messed up my bed, so yeah. You better make my bed. That one don't even have a um this one don't even have a cover on it. Where all these at? It's supposed to be like this. Supposed to match. And we'll get to my sitting up pillow. Hmm. Get my sitting up pillow. What's the vibe looking like? We good. In the meantime, look at my hair. Uh, I went to the dry bar. Linda's here. I went to the. T <laughs> it's. See how my friends make fun of me? Okay. I'm blind, I don't have my glasses. Okay, let me start setting up. Look how you treat your Chanel. Why is she on the floor? You don't give a fuck about nothing. You just like me. I do like I you. I sold that Chanel. I said, I don't I like be this. trying to treat them um, good. Let's I see. Her get a last boy there. Yep, we're good. I can hate this. Um, all right, I gotta do is do my lip gloss. What are you unboxing? What are you unboxing? Look, I got a bag in the bag. Let me see what's in the bag. This one? Yeah. Jimmy, too. It's cute. It's so cute. Look at this. It's so There's cute. all your lip gloss right here. Okay. This lady. All right. <laughs> Still for LA. It's so cute. You don't wear it anyway. No, I don't. A mess. It's like so, and then you can wear it like around your belt or like this for a long. Yeah, that's like the Gucci bag. I guess. Uh, because we don't fucking have. Don't ever. With the air off. Because we the air is broken in our room. Oh, so that's why we have the fans there. Is it cold? I'm fat, so I wouldn't know. All right, so I'll put this on. Why need to zoom in? I feel like I do. <sighs> This girl is a YouTube star. It's just so fun to me. <laughs> She's in here talking to herself. I like talking to myself. It's fun. Right, let's see if we should zoom in. Cause I feel like it should be closer. Oh shit, this shit don't zoom in. Do it from the back. See if they got that. Come on, Dwayne. If we got that up arrow. Nope, this is going to be like this. Why you don't move it closer? But uh, if you look from back here, look. Let me see, go to the phone. Let me go to the front. Oh, it looks clean and nice. Great camera. It look fine, Tasha. It look fine? I'm uh, sure. It don't look my far. My hair don't need to be brushed. If you brush your hair one more time. I love this hair. It will make it oily. Leave I it alone. love this hair. Okay. Alright, so <laughs> we're done. Now this is the director. Look at her with a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> with a unicorn thing. No, can you watch it with me? Because I won't be able to see myself. Or are you gonna say I'm back watching it with you. I'm watching it. Alright, make sure the red line is on. It says recording and it's blinking. Okay. Is it recording? Yeah. If it's it blinking. just got all that commentary. Yeah. So we can just use it from here. This is crazy. Okay. How do I start? Okay. Um, action. <laughs> Hi guys. So I did some shopping over the past two weeks and I was waiting for everything to come so I can show you. Where should we start? Why are you looking at me? Because so you're making me nervous. <laughs> Linda's the director. Let me finish having my drink. Okay. <laughs> Take a sip. <laughs> Alright, so. I talked about my hair. I talked about my hair. No, I could crop this part out. Uh oh. I talked about my hair. Okay, so I have been taping. This is what I want to talk about. Uh -huh. I have been taping. My girlfriend Mika, she put my tape in. My hair is like about this long, and I only have five inches of hair, but you can't tell because she blended them so good. Look. 
Seriously. And I had these in for like two weeks. And then I went to the dry bar and I got them. And I got it um washed and curled and stuff like that. But when you go to the dry bar, you have to ask for like somebody that knows how to do black hair. And then because they'll give you somebody that don't do black hair and then your roots will be Linda, remember that time I, I got I went to the um dry bar? When and when I had my black hair and the roots was like and puffy. you was at the store? It was puffed out. And they were like matted down and stuff and only the part and only the weave was straight. It was like crazy. But then right here it was straight. Like they covered it, but it was like it was teased. It's nice this time. It yeah, it looks really, really good. So yeah, this is my hair. My hair's from Native Beauty. I have a hundred and twenty. 40, 40, 40, 120. 120 tape bins in. But I'm bald too, so if you're not bald, you don't need this much. Alright, so where should we start? Alright, let's start with this. I got a new perfume. It's from the brand Lalabo. Lalabo. And the reason why I like, so I ordered it from Lalabo. Is it Lalabo? Lalabo. Okay. Linda speaks French. That's <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> It's not. Probably is. I wouldn't know. Please. Okay, so, yo, I'm cracking up. Alright, so I went to the Labo and I ordered this brand. I ordered this scent. It's called Another 13. And I actually ordered this because a girl came in the store and she smelled so good and she said this is what it was called. Her name was Peyton. Um. The packaging is really good. It comes in like black paper. And then they give you like little love notes with your receipt. This is what the receipt looks like. I actually don't know what's inside of it. Oh, they give you little samples. But look at the paper clip. They put a little cute. sample in there. The real reason why I really ordered this was because... I like that. The Labo means it's actually French. You are right, <laughs> I've been on Babbel taking French lessons. It stands, the, it stands for the laboratory. Okay. And it's from Estee Lauder. Who would have thought? Who would have fucking thought? Because who's shopping at Estee Lauder? <laughs> Besides our grandmothers. I love it. Okay, so this one is... Can you pronounce this, Linda? <laughs> Lobotomy? Lobotomy? <laughs> A phlebotomy? The bottom, the bottom, the bottom 18. The bottom, that's just show them. Wait, in the camera, lab Dan number, lab and a number. Get the move closer. <sighs> anyway, this is a sample that they gave me. Let's smell it. <sighs> it smells horrible. <laughs> smell it, Linda. Seriously, <laughs> I'll give it to Josiah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit stink. Ooh. It smells like a. It smells like I'm not gonna lie. It smells like Chanel number no. five. It smells like an elderly lady. An elderly woman. It with smells the hint like of Ben Gay. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like Ben Gay powder and a little bit of diaper. It does. Pissy diaper. It's yeah. a no for me. Yes, I know. No wonder it's a sample. But okay, so I got the name, the thing, because you could put like who it's from. To these are like good birthday gifts because you can get it and then you could like customize it so for me I put for the perfect Pisces and then it actually comes on the um the perfume too so then your perfume has your name on it so you'll always know it's yours unless somebody rips it off and it smells so good look Linda I put them all day it smells so good you're really gonna love it I promise oh no it smells fresh it smells like so fresh and fresh clean. flowers it smells like fresh flowers, but it kind of got like that Baccarat sweetness to it. But it's not. What is it? Another 13. It's so good. Oh, it really smells good. Love it. Who's that at the door? door? Whatever. Oh, Mika. She gets off at 5.30. What time is it? Oh my god. Who's that? Who's that? Back. God. I'm gonna have to edit this. Pause it. How? Alright. Alright.
right, so that was the nanny, um, grandson. Cute. Alright, so we did that. The little labo. Next we can do let's get right into it. Jean Paul Gautier. I think this is I think this dropped what's today, July? It probably dropped in June, like the second week of June or so I ordered mine so maybe like ten days ago. It's July. It's like Independence Day, so yeah, I got this in June. Um, one of them, I got one from Scent and I got one from Farfetch. And the one from Farfetch came like this. From Macondo. So it came like this. And I want to insert pictures. So this is supposed to be the skirt. Wrapping. Okay, I got a medium. This was okay. So the the um Lalabo, I forgot to tell you the Lalabo was two twenty five, and this skirt was three fifty. I got in a size medium. The thing that shocked me about the skirt is this. It's a big ass fucking scarf. Like, I, at first I was like a little bit irritated, but then I was like, oh, well you can put it around here. You can wrap it different ways. Like you can wrap it so many different like ways as a skirt and I did try it on and it did look cute so I made it into a mini skirt I made it into like a tie skirt I made it into like a an asymmetrical skirt like you can just keep tying it different ways and you're going to get different outcomes so I like that you can get really really, really creative and it has like a little coat hook kind of situation so that's how you know it's the bag so that part is supposed to show and then an inside so tag. And it's like a very, very like stretchy material, like kind of like a good stocking, I would say. So it's definitely like 100% poly made. Polyester, probably. No, it's probably two different, they're probably two different materials. All right, so. Yeah, that's that, but it fits you so good. So, the next thing. Okay, this is the top that I got from Sense. Their packaging was like really, really, it was like really clean. It didn't come like just wrapped up in paper, like the Mamondo lace, or however you say. And I got the top in a small. At the top of the small and um, it fits so 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 good. And look how good it is. And I like it so much because I can wear you can wear it with no bra and you can wear like your nipples out, but it's like it's not like real slutty and raunchy. It's like more of the you know, like kind of like on a classier side, like it's very subtle. And I got that in a small, and it does come like down, kind of like not closer to your hips, but like past your waistline, like lower, like right where your um, I don't know, like if you were to get a tummy tuck, like right in that area. But I'm sure it probably like scrunches up when you walk, but it's the same material too. And it also has like a little coat hook thing on the back. That's on the outside. And I love it. Very good. I'm very happy with this. This is my my um favorite color is green. So I'm 
right. Next, we have, okay. So I ordered this from Sense too. I really had to get these. They were really weird and they're like quirky and it's not like your typical Marty vibe. It's just like a mom, a super mom vibe. So, and these are on sale. They were like $3.21 from like $500 or something like that. So, I had to get them. taller and it's like leather that's so cute I'm gonna try them on even though I got these socks on oh they look cute with socks too that's so cool I got a size 40 I'm glad Lindy didn't say anything because she was just always calls me a big horse so this is them they're so cute and at first I thought they were too big, but now I got the socks on. Like if I wanted to wear on what socks or anything, like they would look really, really like they won't look too small. Because sometimes when you try, when you put shoes on, but then you wear on with like thick shoe socks, they start looking too small. They're so cute. I like how they're leveled and not arch. Yeah, they're not like an arch. It's like a. I wonder how they can see them all. from our episode and unreleased unreleased they're like a salmon pink I can probably drop them when when I can probably drop them in winter time they're very much a summer color though you see the new stuff I I got like zip ups speaking of zip ups okay we're skipping around but whatever speaking of zip ups I got this super cute Zip up Thrasher Balenciaga hoodie. And it's so freaking cute. This is the bag. And the bunch of holes with paint on them. The quality is really good, like modern episode. And then it's not like, it's actually not as thick though, so it's kind of like summertime vibe. This is a sleeve. Yeah, under. I don't even know what the sleeve said. That's a Balenciaga too. It says Paris. Oh, Paris. But it's so cute. I wanna I'm gonna show you. I had it on when I went to the dry bar. And I got a size. It's like it's called UniFit, but unisex men and women. But I got a size medium, but this is cropped. Like so it comes like to your waistline. But I love it. It's so good. I wanna wear it right now. I think I'm going to put it on. It's like by the end of this tutorial. I got the shoes on. Now I got the hoodie on. Such a vibe. You can like wear it off the shoulder and zip it up. And when you wear it off the shoulder and you zip it up, the bottom comes up. So it looks like really like girly and like day two but like time goes by. Alright. Love this hoodie. Oh this hoodie was I think the hoodie was $8.95. Yeah. Let me see if there was in there. I got this from the um the Phipps Plaza store. Um 
Yeah. Oh no, the hoodie was $9.95. And the sneakers I'm about to show y'all are um were Linda you was right on it, eleven fifty. When you said that they were eleven fifty. Alright, so Oh, okay, so the sneakers I got are the trainers. I think they're one of the trainers. Shoot. Sneakers I got are called, oh, they're the runners. They're not the trainers. The trainers are, um, I think, like the orthopedic, like kind of like looking ones. So, and I got these in a 39. And they come with a little, a little corny cheap book bag that they give you, like at the dollar store when you do something. But it's like they they're using this as their shoe bag, so I guess that's cool. So when you pack your stuff, you put them in here, you store them in here if you're going like away or something. I hope I wasn't talking with salt on my lips the whole time. These are the trainers. I had an option of, I really want the tan and gold ones, but these are more like summertime and mom like vibes. And then they had the limited edition, like the green, the orange and black ones. So I did want the orange ones, but it was given like super, like very much Halloween, like, and then like boy, like too boyish. These you could just wear with like sweats, shorts, and you can just, I can just keep wearing them. And they're already like dirty, so I'm gonna have to worry about messing them up too much. So they definitely, um, absolutely 100% copied off ASIC. It's like an ASIC shoe, and they just put like their Balenciaga, they made it a little bit more bulkier, they added like some pieces to it like right here to make them like thicker they cut it up made it dirty and did their little Balenciaga vibe put that everywhere and now it's not an ASIC it's a Balenciaga shoe it's a Balenciaga it's a Balenciaga it's a Balenciaga, a Balenciaga. okay I'm gonna try this one they're really 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 comfortable though like they're not heavy they they I, when I was talking to the guy they said that he was um they wanted it to feel like an ASIC because ASIC are, are like one of the most comfortable shoes like ever. So ever, ever, ever find. Are they comfortable? They're real comfortable. They feel like ASICs. They just got a harder uh so you know ASICs are like ASICs are my favorite shoe. I know, especially working in like when you on your feet all the time, ASICs the best shoe. That and New Balance. Nobody make better shoes than New Balance and Ape. Okay. This is a sneaker. Let me see. I'm really trying my best. This is my first unboxing, like with kind of like a haul. I've been dying to do this, but I just get so excited. I just put my shit on and just wear it by the time I see it. It's old. It's really cute though. So last but not least, one of my favorites. Linda, we almost done. I can do your hair. Do my hair. All right, last but not least, um, my favorite is this package. This package from I think you pronounce it Setier. Linda, how you pronounce this? I would think Setier. Satire? Satire, Satire. Satire, Satire. It might be Satire. Satire.com. They have like a bunch of um, everything on there. They call it Electric Online Fashion Emporium. I don't know. I had to ask them how to say that. Emporium. 
Anyway, I got some glasses. Okay, so I tried these glasses on. I saw these glasses on a, um, a personal shopper's page, but they were black. And I was just like, so when I started looking for them, instead of buying them from her, because she had them like marked up. And I guess she was like doing like this thing where she just like, um, post a bunch of stuff that's at the store, like that's at the department store, like, and so you could just go through it. So I guess you could like, um, slide through the uh, post and you can see what, um, uh, but these caught my eye anyway. She posts like 18 hair glasses. These caught my eye. And they were just, the black ones caught my eye, but then when I started looking them up, I saw that they had like four different colors. They had black, they had gray, they had clear, and they had pink. So I was like, okay. Mm. I made my the best. So these glasses are <sighs> Alexander McQueen. And of course I wore them already. Like I, I wore them like the same day that I got them. When did you was here when I got them? What? When did you hear when I got these? Those the glasses? Yeah. Yes. Yep. But I did, just didn't look as good because my hair wasn't done and stuff like that. Like I just kind of looked weird. Then when I had the glasses, then when I got my hair done, they just were like so early 2000 Y2K vibes. Early 2000, they really give me um all my pride. Is all I have. Is all I have. She loves. Okay, I'll show them to you and then of course I'll put them on. These are them. They're very like thin and dainty. Kind of feel cheap but not cheap but they're very very light. Like they're not like a heavy glass. I like glasses that you can wear like in um I like glasses that you can wear like when it's at, at the night time, like if it feels like, so you don't look like too like, stay away from me. Like you still look inviting, because sometimes when you have the dark glasses on in the night time, it's like, or you're out at dinner or something like that, it's like, don't fucking talk to me. Like, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to anybody. These are very girly and inviting. And they look very expensive. Sometimes you can buy expensive things, but they don't look expensive. And she's from DC or Baltimore? DC! Yeah, she is just like so fly, so fucking cute. Like, uh, she's so cute. And she know how to dress both ways, like tomboy, dress yep. down, and she know how to dress it up. Like some people only know how to do one thing. And she always changed her hairstyle. Like, I just love her. She's so cute. But real quick, let me change. Um, I had a misspelling on my business page, my episode. And I've always misspelling stuff. So I gotta change it. So I'm doing that now. Okay. It's another update. It's my Instagram page. This is the Fifi set. If you care. Huh? I want to know pictures up since last August. You haven't posted a picture in two years. That's crazy. I'm a ghost follower. You're talking about I'm a ghost follower. Okay. 
These glasses are so perfect. Look at them. They're really perfect. It's giving J-Love. I love them. It's giving Angie Martinez when she was decent. Angie Martinez really used to be that bitch back in the day. Now she chubby. It I looks mean, so good. It looks great. It looks good? Mm -hmm. Let me stop before my fucking new two show. It looks... <laughs> it looks really good. Alright. Let me take a picture. I really want to like take out the real little like... I love these glasses. They're so cute. And then the hair. I don't look like with big glasses. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Oh uh, my pride is on my head. Baby girl, what you hey? You keep to me with too bad. <laughs> so pack him and run along. You can make it on your own. But here with me you have unboxing guys and Linda's here don't talking me. about me like the dog I am <laughs> this is the ugliest picture ever <laughs> <laughs> you said don't post me and then took a picture of herself oh, oh my god I think she's fucking crazy in the background. Okay, so um, I guess we should bring this to an end. I don't know. I like that because I don't give a Mary J. Blige vibes. So, okay, so we're going to bring this unboxing to it, and I hope you guys love everything that I got. I love it. Um, if you want to see more of these, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down below what you want to see more of, and your thoughts. And all these links will be in the description box, maybe, if I can. I'll try to. I'll try to find everything. But yeah, all the most some of the stuff I ordered, some of it I went to the mall and got um, the other day. While I was waiting for it, and I'm just waiting for everything to come so I can show you guys. And it's my first unboxing, and I hope it turned out fabulous. And I got on all my new stuff. I got the hoodie on, the glasses on, the sneakers on, the shoes on. So I really do love all these things. I'm going to have another unboxing, but I'll put that in a separate video because it's just like really, really special and it just deserves its own video. So, yeah. Deuces. Love you. Follow my follow me on social media. Um, my social media is Pisces of Gold. My name's Natasha. Why is I'm that your name? I'm a business owner. Pisces I know that you're a Pisces, but where's the goal? The goal is Chinese Zodiac. <laughs> the zo the goat is, is black. <laughs> Chinese zodiac is you know like astrology. So Chinese yeah. zodiac has its own astrology. It's called Chinese zodiac. I wonder what mine is. I'll look it up for you. Probably a swan. So it's like the pig, like Kevin Hart is the pig, and then it's like the year of the instead of okay. So I need some Kevin Hart. I know everybody's. So um, and then it's like. The turkey, the ox, the snake, and things like that. One is a rat. I, one is a rat. I hope I'm not a rat. 
And so for them, you know how we have seasons for Chinese zodiac, it is years. So if you were born in a certain year and then their zodiac, um, the Chinese zodiac, it lasts for the whole year. So it'd be like, I think this year is the year of the pig. Yeah, the tiger. Okay, the year of the and tiger. 2023 is the year of the rabbit. And then it's about those people right now. Like, so they're going to be the, the most beneficial. Then they on um, Zodiac, Chinese Zodiac, you got a lucky year. You have a lucky day that you're supposed to get married. A lucky day that, like. Okay, it goes by years. Okay. Yeah. So. I'm not even saying like. You the rat? You the snake? You the snake? Snakes, read about it. Snakes what are you born in? I was born in 91. Goat, yeah. Yeah, I'm the goat. I'm a fucking goat. Like, what are you talking about? I'm either the goat. They call it the goat or they call it a ram or You're something. The tiger. So, it's his year this year. Is it? Yes. Yeah. I always be looking up everybody's stuff. Remember I looked up, looked up Jordan's um, life path numbers? <laughs> I looked up you in this. I always be looking up everybody around me. You're the tiger. Why do I have to be a snake? That's not good. Why? Why do you think who snakes? wants to be a slime? <laughs> no offense. Snakes don't do some. No offense. Free YSL. Free YSL. <laughs> Free YSL. Slime life. But um, that's so fucking funny. Snakes are like, read about it. I bet you would match right up with you. Of course. Of course. It it's telling me I need to work harder to get my achievements. I always work hard. Fuck no, you, you, Linda. You sleep for four days at a time. You love sleep. I said I need to work harder too. No, it's, no. It tells you about. Stop the goat are the luckiest zodiac signs in the year of 2022. Really? Yes. I need to look that up. I haven't read on it in like a year or two. For those born in the years of the right snake will be thinking, oh, you would need to make comparatively more effort in order to make achievements. Go oh, hell. Basically, say I need to get up and work harder. You don't come outside, Linda. I don't like outside. You do like outside. Only you just don't like people outside when Red you're there. Red and dragon force and boost them. People are destined to enjoy a smooth life and good luck in making money too. Tigers, tigers will encounter their birth year in 2022. Wearing red will bring good luck in a birth year. Oh my God, Jordan's going to a meeting right now. He's wearing red. He's what? Going to a meeting with this, with this label. He's wearing red. Is it supposed to be his good luck? Yeah. Yeah, he's probably going to get it. Yay! Congrats to Jordan. Okay, Jordan Jordan is a tiger and the Jordan is wearing red and red is like their lucky colors. <laughs> so he's going to like a label thing. I watch this good news. We'll continue this in our next video. Okay, so I'm gonna say bye so me and Linda can talk. Linda has those fucking uniform ears. She'll be in the next video. She'll fix herself up because I wanna make her come outside. Okay. Bye. Linda.